Today we are going to talk about how to designate targets for laser bombs in a different way. Usually it's every man for himself, but the bomb really doesn't care what is the source of a laser spot, as long as the code is set up correctly. This opens up a set of interesting possibilities. One aircraft can survey the battlefield and guide incoming waves of strike aircraft for quick drops. You could lob a bomb from behind a hill to avoid air defenses. Finally, as a helicopter pilot, you could call in an airstrike on a target that won't render your own, own weapons. It doesn't even have to be about guiding bombs, as sometimes all it takes is to show someone else in a quick and precise manner where the bad guys are. Before we start working with the laser, we have to set up matching codes, both for our designator and spot search. Since you can't change in flight what code the bomb is going to look for, make sure that the laser used for guiding them matches. Coordinate with other party via radio as necessary. In Viper, we set the codes to DED. Press list, then mist, then laser. DGP is the code you are going to emit, and LSS is the code you can look for on the battlefield below. The laser ST time is used to set how many seconds your own laser will illuminate automatically before predicted bomb impact. Next, you have to know where to look for. It can be a pre-planned steer point, as I have it here, a set of coordinates relayed via radio or even your own designation on a nearby battlefield feature, known to both parties. For example, J. Hemmick's designation on a characteristic building, a smoke marker or already burning vehicles. It doesn't have to be super accurate, as the seeker's field of view is pretty wide. From a distance, I was able to pick up a designation which was a nautical mile away from the initial DGP aiming point. With the DGP aimed at the area of interest and within 15 miles from it, set the bot as sensor of interest and press uncage button. The DGP will enter LSS mode as indicated in the upper left corner and after a short search it is going to point the camera to the laser spot. You can freely zoom the image in and out as well as change mode between TV and IR. Now you can turn towards the target on an attack round, as if it was your own designation. If that is the case, you don't have to arm your own laser and you can turn away right after the drop. You can also transition to your own designation, for example when you're not happy with the original one or when the third party can't place for you for a prolonged time. You do it by pressing TMS forward or right for point or area track respectively. From this moment you can use the TGP as usual. Designating for others with your laser works mostly the same as for yourself, but there are two differences you have to take account for. The first one is, you have to fire the laser manually by pressing and holding down trigger's first stand. The second one is, unless the timing coordination with the strikers is spot on, you have to set up for a prolonged designation. The best way to do it is with the target orbit, which I described in a previous video. With the Viper, select right hand orbit to give the TGP the best field of view and enjoy the fireworks, here being courtesy of a Reaper drone. Thanks for watching and see you next time.